Are you looking for the best wireless Bluetooth boombox of 2021? In this video we will look at some of the top wireless Bluetooth boombox on the market. Before we get started with our video we have included links in the description for each product mentioned so make sure you check those out to see which is in your budget range. Starting at number 5. Anchor Sound Core Motion Boom. Anchor's $100 Sound Core Motion Boom is what I'd call a mini portable boombox speaker. It's kind of a poor man's version of JBL's well regarded Stream 2 speaker, which currently sells for around $200 though its list price is higher. Equipped with a handle and weighing a little over 4 pounds, the speaker reminds me of one of those giant flashlights or floating lanterns that were in vogue about 30 years ago. For the record, the Motion Boom actually does float and it's got an IPX7 waterproof rating. Anchor says the Motion Boom delivers huge stereo sound and, yes, it plays pretty loud and has a decent amount of bass with reasonable clarity, I kept the bass boost on at all times because the speaker sounds better that way, it can't compete against bigger and more expensive speakers like JBL's Boombox 2, $400, and Ultimate Ears Hyperboom, $400, but it packs a lot more volume and punch than more compact Bluetooth speakers like JBL's Flip 5 that cost around the same. It also travels well, so it's ideal for a beach excursion or a little tailgating. It also can be used as a backup battery to charge your smartphone or other mobile device. At number 4. JBL Boombox 2. JBL's second generation Boombox 2 doesn't really look different from the original. But it's more energy efficient, with a new Bluetooth 5.1 chipset. Also, the speaker weighs about 1.5 pounds more, 13 pounds or 5.9 kg, which means the added weight went into other components besides the battery, which is the same capacity. The big difference in the sound between the Boombox 2 and the original is the bass. It goes deeper and has more punch to it. While the power rating is a little higher for the Boombox 2, its top volume is about the same as the original. It sounds fuller and more dynamic at its top volume. Unlike the original, it doesn't have indoor and outdoor modes. You can link up wirelessly to the latest JBL Bluetooth speakers, but sadly you can't link to the original boombox. Like the UE Hyperboom, see below, this has a us about port that allows you to charge external devices like your phone, and there's also an analog audio input if you want to go wired and connect a device without using Bluetooth connectivity, the Hyperboom adds an optical digital input. At number 3. Sony SRSX G500. Sony's SRSX G500 is the most direct competitor to the JBL Boombox 2. They're similarly priced and sized, with both featuring an integrated handle. The Sony is a little larger but weighs slightly less at 12.34 pounds, 5.6 kg. I went back and forth comparing the sound of the two speakers. While I liked the JBL's sound a bit more because it came across as sounding a little clearer with better detail, the Sony pumps out a lot of bass, it has a warmer, boomier sound that some people may prefer. It's IP66 water resistant and dust proof, meaning it can take a sustained spray of water but it can't be fully submerged. You also get a MIC guitar ear input and dual spout ports for charging your devices, the speaker has its own power adapter, you can't charge it via USB-C, battery life is rated at 30 hours at moderate volume levels, which is very good. Crank your tunes and that number drops substantially. At number 2. UE Hyperboom. The UE Hyperboom has a few things going for it over the Boombox 2. For starters, the price, it's $400 while the Boombox 2 is $500. For outdoor use, I give the nod to the JBL's design. Both of these weigh 13 pounds, but the JBL is a little more natural to carry around. It's got the handle, the tubular design, it looks like it belongs outdoors. The Hyperboom's got a thick rubber strap and it kinda feels like you're carrying a big picture of something really solid. It's boxy and understated, and it looks a little more at home indoors. The Hyperboom is splash proof with an IPX4 rating while the Boombox 2 is fully waterproof with an IPX7 rating, I put them out in the rain and they both survived without issues, like the Boombox 2, this has a us about port that allows you to charge devices like your phone and it also has analog audio input if you want to go wired and connect a device without using Bluetooth. However, the Hyperboom adds an optical digital input. That means you can connect it to a TV, PC or game console with an optical output. At number 1. JBL's Stream 3. 
If you don't want to get something quite as big as the JBL Boombox 2, the Stream 3 weighs a good deal less but is still large by Bluetooth speaker standards and puts out a lot of sound, though not as much as the Boombox 2. Instead of a built-in handle, a detachable shoulder strap is included. Like JBL's smaller Bluetooth speakers, the Stream 3 is a versatile boombox that can be stood up vertically or placed horizontally. Though a tad bigger than the Stream 2, at first glance it doesn't look much different from the previous model, but it does have upgraded sound with slightly better bass and clarity while actually weighing slightly less. Here are the key differences between the two speakers, according to JBL. Plays slightly louder, the Stream 3's rated output power is 2x25W versus the Stream 2's 2x20W. The Stream 3 is IPX67, waterproof dustproof, versus the Stream 2's IPX7, waterproof, 